Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I just gave CSI net exam and I just wanted to share some initial impression about it, the initial you can say review of the exam. So let's talk about this. Okay, I hope all of you have given the exam and all of you are on their way or you might have reached your places. So the thing, the first thing is there are certain things which came as a surprise. Okay, because CSI did not uh, notified about them and this time it was the first time when they gave all the things so it was a kind of surprise for us first thing is the interface okay the exam interface was totally different from what they have uploaded on their website or what they are showing as a mock test on their website so the nta uh, like interface is changed second thing is the scientific calculator i don't know how many of you uh, noticed and how many of you didn't notice because after coming from exam out out of the exam i met some of the students and few of them didn't even noticed key there was a scientific calculator uh, frankly speaking, I also noticed after I think 15 or 20 minutes of exam. So uh, that means ki, uh, there was scientific calculator also this time for the first time for chemical sciences in CSI net exam. And that's why I think some of the questions were calculative on the physical chemistry portion. Um, talking about the exam itself, the level of exam. So I will say that it was not as difficult as it was in 2020 and it was not as easy. Uh, as it was earlier there right so it was in a moderate level you can say few questions were very direct they were very straightforward question especially uh, the question which was asked on commutation then there was a question where pka value you have to give and few were like you just can see the question and can answer can answer directly uh, part a aptitude part was little tricky uh, some of the questions were actually more uh, like time consuming and they require more attention to solve them uh, and uh, to be frank, part A among all the three was most difficult one. And uh, among part B and part C, I felt part C, if it was not that difficult to do at least 20 questions from part C. That's what I believe. Uh, any average student uh, who has studied properly can easily do 20 questions at least from part C. Okay. And in part B also, there were some very straightforward questions. They were like, if you remember the formula, if you remember the concept, you could have easily answered it. Uh, like there was a question from photochemistry. There were many questions this time actually from bio and organic chemistry. Uh, like the weightage of bio and organic this time was quite high. Uh, similarly, if you see the thermodynamics, so it was not asked directly from the thermodynamics, but phase equilibria was asked more this time, right? So all in all, I would say that the question paper uh, was a good level one. Uh, the exam actually happened after more than a year. You can say one and a half year it happened. So whatever, whatever the level was question, level of question was, it was good. It was actually CSIR net level and it was expected to do. Uh, some questions were repeated. Uh, just let me know if I'm not, if I'm wrong for it. Please let me know in the comment section. But yeah, I think the question in part A where that milkman was adding uh, water into it, some question related to that it was. I guess that question has been already asked either in CSR net or in GET. I don't remember exactly, but it has been asked earlier in the aptitude portion itself. So do remind me any of you if you remember that. Also, uh, there was a question uh, from uh, calculating PK. There was three molecules given, right, uh, with active methylene group. So uh, the order of PK, there was that question. It seems that was also repeated one. Uh, similarly, that LMCT question was actually some part was added, but it was from previous year question. Then commutation, uh, commutator one, right? Uh, commutation of your X and PX square. So that was also a repeated question. So the paper all in all was good. It was not on the easier side. Some questions were quite easy, but some were little bit time consuming and they would require a lot of attention over there so i would say that paper was moderate not easy not very difficult uh for uh like i know most of you would be thinking about the cutoff so let me tell you what i think i think it would be around 110 plus minus 5 you can consider over there so 110 plus minus 5 for general category that's what i think for now because i have just seen i have given the question uh, i have given the exam i have seen the whole question paper and that's how what i can predict of uh, I'll make a video on group, uh, sorry, on part A question. So uh, soon that will be uploaded, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning as at the earliest that a video will come where I'll solve all the questions from part A. And uh, 
memory based questions if you remember any of the question you can tell me uh, you can mail me email is there in the uh, description of this video also i am conducting a live discussion class so that is going to be free for all so that is on an academy so the link of that class is also in the description of this video do join me over there for discussion about questions what was the level if you if any one of you remembers the question you can share me over there as well so that's it for this video i just wanted to give an initial impression about it and just wanted to share i met so many students over there thank you so much guys for meeting me for coming and meeting me and uh, i feel really overwhelmed after that so thank you so much for giving all the love and support and uh, that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care